a borrower takes out a loan of 4,000 at annual effective rate 6%. Starting at the end of the fifth year, the loan is repaid by annual payments, each of which equals 600, except a final balloon payment that is less than 1,000. Calculate the final balloon payment. So the loan is 4,000 and uh, the payments start at the end of the fifth year. So uh, we're told that we have level payments of 600 and then a final balloon payment. To begin with in these problems, you assume that each payment is 600 and forget about the balloon for a while. And then once uh, by that assumption, we find N, then we come back and uh, take care of the balloon payment. So first we assume that each payment is 600. Payments start at time five. So now equation 25.4, um, which is the basic equation for the present value of uh, an annuity immediate, that uh, if applied in this case, will give the value at time four because uh, that uh, present value, the fundamental present value equation of annuity immediate gives the value one period before the first payment. So if the first payment happens at time five, then the value given by this equation, which is payment times one minus one plus i up to the negative n over i, that will give the value at four. And so the payment is 600 and interest rate was 6% and is to be found out. And uh, we need to bring this value from time four to time zero. So we multiply it with one plus i to the negative four. And so that time zero value of all the payments should equal the value of the loan, which was 4,000. And so 4,000 will equal 600 times one minus 1.06 to the negative n over 0.06 times 1.06 to the negative four. And here you can uh, divide both sides by 600, then multiply by 0 0.06, and then divide by 1.06 to the negative four. And so you get 0 0.505, and that's equal to this one minus 1.06 to the negative n. And then uh, you do the algebra and take the 1.06 to the negative n to the left, subtract the 0 0.505 from one, you get 0.495, and then you take ln of both sides, and then you divide both sides by ln of 1.06, you get n equals 12.07. However, remember that n is the number of payments, which has to be an integer, and our calculations are telling us that after, um, in fact, after 12 regular payments are made, we need 0 0.07 of a regular payment. So 12 regular payments and then a 0 0.07 of a payment in the next period. So therefore, since we're looking for a balloon payment means we should not be making 12 regular payments, but 11 regular payments. And then the 12th payment uh, will be the bigger one, which will take care of everything. So in a balloon payment, whatever, and we get uh, we go to the previous integer. So if you get 12.07, means you need 11 regular payments and the 12th one will be the balloon payment in this case. Let the balloon payment be Y. Now the regular payments start at time five. So the next key step is to determine when the balloon payment is happening so that we can bring it back through appropriate time periods. So the regular payments, as uh, uh, we are told, start at time five, and there are 11 of them. So it will be happening at time five, six, seven, up to 15. You can count that these are 11 numbers between five and 15. <laughs> And therefore, the balloon payment has to be the next payment that must happen at time 16, since the last regular payment happens at time 15. So now uh, we again go to the fundamental equation that the present value of all payments should equal the present value of the 11 regular payments plus present value of the balloon payment. And present value of all payments is the loan, which is 4,000. 
present value of 11 regular payments would be um, the basic annuity formula. But remember that we need, since the payments are starting at five, so this formula from here to here give us, gives us the value at four, and then we bring it back to time zero by multiplying by 1.06 to the negative four. So this portion, this first term here is the present value times zero of the 11 regular payments. And since the balloon payment was happening in time 16, so the present value of the balloon payment would be, remember balloon payment was Y, so that's its value, that's the value of it at in time 16. So when you bring it back to zero uh, from 16, you have to multiply it with 1.06 to the negative 16. So that's the present value of the balloon payment. And now from this equation, you you can subtract all this term from the 4,000 and then divide by 1.06 to the negative 16 to get y equals 639. That's choice B.